Kentucky will be kicking off and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone down for a touchback. Purdue staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. Uh, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they push him out at the 38. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 38. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Got a man. Watch out here. He goes out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. They'll bring him down at the 21. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. to his receiver. Tackle at the 37. I'll tell you what, this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback. They're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. He scrambled. And he's tackled at about the 37-yard line. Called his own number on that one. I like the idea of trying to run here, but the defense really made him pay the price for trying to run. Makes it out to about the 46. That'll bring up third and inches. Here they go on the draw, and they'll lose yards. No That'll bring up fourth and one. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. They go back to him on a quick throw. And he's taken down right around the 42-yard line. That brings him second and five. but he's going to lose yards here. Call the loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Check, Mike, 39. Check, Patriot, Patriot. Check, Patriot. Slam, slam, slam. Slam, slam. Hut, hut. Hut. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. And again, they're going for it on fourth down. They're all tied in on the line here on fourth and short. 
He fights forward to about the 36. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front. It's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Here they come. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. No game on the play. You can't block me. That brings us third and ten. Gets it out quickly. Knocked out of bounds at about the 31. That's a game of five on the way. That'll bring up so the kicker five. comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Kentucky is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and it's good. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Kentucky's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. He's out of bounds at the 27. That's a game of two. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Got the corner. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. Complete and he stopped immediately. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Fakes it, and the quarterback scrambles. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. Gain of 11 yards. First down. Three down, three down. Yeah, check. Hey, Mike. Hey, no, no. Let's switch the mic right here. Three, four, five. Three, two, one. Slings it. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. We've played one quarter. The Wildcats lead 3-0. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Steps out around the 34-yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Brought down at the 26-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on timing, and as you saw there, when their timing gets knocked off, they have a tough time connecting on plays like this. They bring the quarterback down. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. 
He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. This is the tenth play of this drive. And he is drilled at the 38-yard line. Sack makes this a fourth and very long. Purdue can tie it up here with this kick. Kicks away, and he nails the long field goal. You know, I was wondering if he's going to get a chance to kick one of those. We saw him warming up from 60 yards before the game. And yeah, this one's knotted up at three. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. He's taken down at the 36. And down he goes, around the 33-yard line. This guy's combination of speed and his hands make him lethal. He can take a game over at any time. They come out on an empty backfield. Tackle made at the 12. Quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Nice run up the middle. That's what the defensive back coach likes to see. His kids reacting when the ball's in the air and then making the play. They're about four yards away here on third down. Check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Ready. Easy, easy, easy. Big dog. Zips it to the back, and he's tackled right away. Number 39 at the 11 yard line. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Kentucky could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Fires out to his receiver. He's tackled at the 30. That brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 30. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Let's go! Red 85! Red 85! And 
they make the stop right around the 36 yard line. Number 40 with the tackle from their own 36 yard line. First down. And he hits him hard at the 46. Called a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Let's go! Green 45! Green 45! Check, check! Easy, easy, easy! Box two! Box two! Pitch play here. He's gobbled up in the backfield. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Slings it out there. Tight end's got another one. He's at the 40. Tackle around the 30-yard line. That makes it first and 10. around the 27-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he throws it away. They've looked good so far on third down in this drive. Let's see what happens here. it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's tackled at about the 19-yard line. Tenth play of the drive. Well, they're living on the edge here a little bit, but, you know, they're converting when they have to. That's a great tackle at the 17. Purdue's going to have to use their second time out of the half. We're at the one-minute mark, first half. saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And he converts the extra point. An 11 play, 76 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. The score now, 10 6. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both defenses really played well so far, Herbie. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's taken down around the 37-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Under pressure. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Scrambling around. And he tackles him hard at the 43. Check, check. Navajo! Navajo! Check, check. And he's left. 
level at the 40-yard line. The Wildcats call a timeout. That's their second of the half. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 40. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. They'll spread the field with five wide. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down right around the 10 yard line. He's under some heat. Now he's going to run and watch out. Brought down around the three yard line. So at the end of the half, Purdue leads 10 6. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it uh, every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half. And you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of. And, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish, whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. They got to him before he could get back to the line. Call it a loss of one yard. That brings, that brings up third and ten. ten. From their own 25-yard line. Third down. You ain't doing nothing today. Zips it out to his runner, and he's got him again. He's taken down at the 26. That's a gain of one on the play. Fourth down. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Purdue is up by four. Caught out in the open. He's pushed out of bounds at the 38. So it's second down and about two yards to go. That makes it second and two. Play fake. And down he goes at midfield. Now 
now he's scrambling. They bring him down. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. They come up to the line here in second down and 14 after the sack. a four-point lead. Let's go! He scrambles. He's at the 20. And he is drilled at the 11. That makes it first and 10. From the 11-yard line, first down. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled around the 10 yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Catches it and he's immediately tackled behind the line. They'll line it up again on third down. It seems like he might have floated that pass just a little bit too much because the defender was able to get his hand in there and swipe it away. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Boilermakers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And they make the stop, the 39-yard line. Just a great interception by the cornerback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. From the 21-yard line, it's first down. Purdue is up a score. They hook up over the middle. Tackle around the 11-yard line. That'll make it second in inches. Come on. 
So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Throws complete, big loss. to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball. That's going to lead to turnover. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Purdue can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Braddy drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. It's second and 10. Ball on the 25. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Slings it out and it gets tipped. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. 16-6, Boilermaker. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. That's how we do, G. That's how we do. They don't want none. They don't want none of this. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. And he hits him hard at the 44-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Brad, this corner just made a great play on the football. You wonder if he's starting to maybe get into the mindset of this quarterback, and maybe the quarterback's going to look in the other direction to try to come up with a completion. He's scrambling. About eight yards there on the scramble. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And they'll bring him down behind the line. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle.
These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. Come on out here. Come get some. Come get some. Come on here. Come get some. He don't want it. Caught over the middle. And he's tackled at the 31. He's wrapped up for the sack. Seven yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Let's get off the field, D. Let's get off the field, D. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike. Oh. Gets it out in a hurry. Gets it. He's in space. And he's taken down at the 48. That's a big play right there. If they can get this ball into the end zone, you're looking at a one possession game. quickly and he's got his man they'll bring him down at about the 37 yard line that makes it first and 10. Black 90. Black 90. Black. throws out and through his hands the quarterback has to be very careful brad of throwing the football into a position where the wide receiver has a chance to get his head taken off he threw the ball there, and it made it easy for the defender to be able to separate him from the ball. And a quick throw. He scores. What a play. And they had a tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. It makes for an easy completion when you've got a guy who's that wide open. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. Well, with the lead and the ball here in the fourth quarter, it's important that the offense kind of maintain their edge that they played with throughout the ball game. You can't get too conservative. You can't worry about turning the ball over. Just block all that out, execute the way you have up to this point, and they should be able to get out of here with a win. find themselves in a hole here after that sack at second and long. Less than three minutes in the game. on the play you know little passes like this force the defense to start to come up then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up Rock down at about the 29 yard line Kentucky will take their second time out of the half he really got a hold of that one He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. <laughs> this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play call. 
very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. And he stopped behind the line. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved them back. Just under two minutes in the game. And he tackles him hard at the 44. And he's level with the 36 yard line. Here's the call from the referee. Delay of game, offense. We have less than a minute to go. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A seven play, 64 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. So the score now, 2016. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Purdue's coaches have got to be confident in the fact that they've got a star player in a tight situation. And there's nothing better than having a quarterback you have confidence in in these kind of situations. You know he's going to make the right read. He's going to give his receivers a chance to make a play on the ball. They're going to have a really good chance of moving the ball down the field to have a shot to win this game. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's taken down right around the 44-yard line. Purdue's going to use their first time out of the half here. Man left, man left. From their own 44-yard line. First down. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes at the 47-yard line. They need to do a better job of managing the clock here. You're right, Fred. Not only was that a horrible play in terms of yards picked up, but also, as you mentioned, in terms of all the time that may be wasted. Out of bounds around the 46-yard line. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Deep ball, laying it out there. And it's a whole new ball game. The Boilermakers knew they had a star quarterback. He came through for them in the clutch. And this defense knows how good this quarterback is. In fact, that's why they decided to try to get as much pressure on him as they could. They weren't able to get home, leaving him plenty of time to make the throw, and he delivered when he needed to. And he adds the extra point. 
with time winding down, they probably won't let this return man feel the ball. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. This has been a great game, and it all comes down to this. Who can prevail, the offense or the defense? We're about to find out who's going to win it in this drive. Oh, and almost picked off. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. That makes it second and ten. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Drill at the 29. Caught open field. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. Wow, what a battle, and what a stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. Purdue's staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Curve Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.